So I wanted to make this quick video because I'm going through all of Isabella's toys because um, I like to clean them um, at least once a month um, and I think I'm going to be donating a lot of her toys because she doesn't use most of them. So I thought I'd make this quick video. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to have to like stop the video and then do it again um, because Isabella has like her own little play area in my room and then she also has all her other toys downstairs. So, I am going to get started with the toys that she has up here. And so these are all of like her stuffed animals. She has a Webkins. Um, she has two little ghosts. And she got this as from a birthday party. Um, and then this she got for her first Halloween. And as you can see, she liked this thing. My best friend got her little smurf and there should be one more of these hand puppets I showed it in the Christmas haul I don't know what happened to the other one um it's somewhere but she has four hand puppets she has her little Elmo that came with one of the um, things that I'm going to show you she got a puppy dog for my cousin and then this we never even opened yet. I completely forgot that she had this from Christmas and it's a book with a ladybug. And then of course she has her doll that she doesn't even play with because she's too little for it. She has these two little tambourine things from a birthday party. She has her blocks with like letters and numbers. And then this came to her, um, her infant play mat and she like, still likes to play with these and chew on them. So I have those, and then she has this little bag from Subway, and this is from a McDonald's Happy Meal, and I think the skateboard for it is in here. I don't know, but there should be um, a little skateboard to that. And then she has her little Sesame Street car. She has two of them, and then these are just teethers. Another one, and this was also from a Happy Meal. And then she got these little animals from my mom's job. Um, they have like little toys and stuff for the little kids that go there. So my mom gave her two of those. And then she also has all of her, um, well I should say most of her books up here. This is what her little Elmo came with. It's a little book. Um, and yeah, she just has so many books in here. Books after books after books. So that's where I keep a majority of her, her uh, books. So yeah, um, I think that's about it for toys upstairs. Yeah, so I will go and show you guys the toys that she has downstairs. This is going to be the uh, rest of Isabella's toys that I have downstairs. And I might look different. Than <laughs> I was filming this on Friday when Isabella went into the hospital. And I'm just getting time to do it now. So sorry about that. Sorry if I sound all weird. I think I'm getting um, sick or something. I'll try not to sneeze while making this video. So, yeah. Isabella has a lot of toys down here. And I'm just going to give you like a quick overview. And I'm not sure how long this video it will be. I'll try to keep it short and go through things fast. So yeah. She has a lot of toys. And I try to like organize it um, the best I can to make this video go quicker. So I think I'll just start over where like the big stuff are. Um, so this is her like little uh, cube thing when it has like things. It's a princess one and it has all of these. She knows how to move all that, has a mirror, and then it has like a little thing over there. And then she has her push walker, um, which is the VTech um, learning walker, and this actually comes off, and she can play with it if she like, wasn't anywhere close to walking. Then she has her stroller looking walker, then she has her Winnie the Pooh, um, <clears throat> walker which I'm not a big fan of these but 
you know, she only used it like maybe four or five times, so I'm probably either going to sell it or donate it because it's in such good condition that I'm better off just selling it, but I still haven't decided. And then she has like her little activity table that she got for her birthday and it has a whole bunch of cool stuff on it and she really doesn't play with it. She went crazy for it when we bought it for her and then now it just sits in the corner. But yeah, so she has her piano. Let me turn this off. And it has a whole bunch of stuff over here, right there. Sorry guys, my hair is in the way. And then she has her cow that she's still too little for, but when she gets bigger, she can sit on it and push it around. And then she has um, her Mega Blocks First Builders. And she doesn't really play with that yet, um, but it also has been just sitting in the box for a while so that also might be why and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just get through the stuffed animals and these are usually right here but because I'm going through everything and you know gonna get rid of some stuff I just put them in here for now so she has this giant teddy bear that she actually likes to hug um, this is actually mine but Isabella has made it hers and it's just a puppy it was like a Valentine's Day gift she has this is what she got for her very first Valentine's Day from my aunt and she loves this she gives it kisses all the time and then this is this year's Valentine's Day present from my aunt to Isabella and she loves that one then she has sorry guys a giant penguin which she Tries to carry and then falls. And then she got this little puppy from my gra my grandma, Isabella's great grandma. And she loves it. And then she has a giant Hello Kitty Easter um, stuffed animal. And it has a hard bottom so that it can stand up on its own. And I'm a big fan of this too because if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. And then... Um, my cousin got this, <laughs> these for her, and it's all f as like a little joke because my cousin used to call Isabella's like infant snowsuit um, the boo suit because she looked like boo in it. And so ever since then, we've done this and we've been trying to find like a boo costume for her and we can't. But he found this for, um, yeah, it was Christmas for her and he got her the one with the boo suit on and then just in her regular clothes with the little monster teddy bear and then this also is usually in the corner but I took it out for right now and it's just her dragon ball pit that gets everywhere and I have to clean up and then this is um one of the things that I'm donating it's just her infant play mat um, I would keep it for like future children, but it's not my house and um, we really don't have space and my mom just wants me to get rid of it, <laughs> so I have to, but this also goes to it, it's the uh, little mirror thing and then over there is the little poles for it and then all up here is like any toys that like make noise or like light up and like sing songs. So, she has her train that goes along and, you know, it sings. She has her story time rhymes. And it just sings her song. She has, like, her own little cell phone that sings. And then she has her shapes and colors little book. And then she has story time rhymes again. Um except it's like different ones. She has her baby Einstein tunes, which I think every little kid is obsessed with. Um, she has the school bus Let's one, it. and Let's it just sings. And it just does that. Then she has her cow, and she loves all of those. She also has her panda, which this is pretty funny. She only likes this when it talks in Spanish. <laughs> and um, if I put it in English, she's not very interested. And she has loved this toy since she was 
maybe two months old and um one of the home visitors actually left it at our house and Isabella's been obsessed with it so I texted her and I was just like I'm sorry to bother you but where did you get this toy Isabella's obsessed with it and she won't let it go and so she just said oh keep it so it talks in Spanish and like I said that's the only well it has English and Spanish but she only likes the Spanish one And then you just... So that's like the really only Spanish part to it, but she won't play with that toy unless it's on the Spanish. So I just put it on Spanish for her. And this has to be her absolute favorite toy at the moment. And <laughs> it's broken. It, we've had it for a while. And it finally just, you know, with her dropping it and throwing it, it just... I think it's it's time to go, um, but I'm I'm keeping it because I want to remember which one it is, and um, to go buy her another one because let me see if I can show you. It starts singing, and then it just stops, and it does it to all of them. And I've changed the batteries, and it just still doesn't want to work. So I think I'm gonna have to go get her another one. And so she also has this um little snoopy piano thing and it's uh plays the piano it broke too i think oh that sucks oh it was off yeah it does that and obviously it's a christmas thing that my aunt got her and then she has her little uh, move and crawl ball which freaks me out because every time I walk by it and it's on, it starts moving and scares the crap out of me. And then right here, she has her um, like little puppy and let's see. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> oh, it's too loud. And this thing scares her because it has like a mechanical sound. So she used to be very, very afraid of that. And then she also has her Violet um, Pal thing, and she loves this thing. I still have to connect it to the computer. Um, so, you know, it says her name and um, her favorite color and all that. I haven't got around to do that. And then she also just has the other Fisher-Price um, puppy. It's just like this one, except, obviously... Not as creepy, and it just like sings and all that. And I'm not gonna turn it on because it never turns off. I'll go through that basket last. And so she just has one puzzle. Um, I'm working on getting her more, but she just has a Melissa and Doug puzzle, and it's like a train. Then these are all like her books. Like um, she has her big bin of books upstairs, and these are just like little books that uh. I guess I've just made their way down here, and she has two Baby Einstein DVDs, and this one isn't even open, so I think I might just get rid of it, because she doesn't really watch Baby Einstein, but it is the older version one, so I might try it with her, I don't know. And like I said, these are just like little books, and then over here is like any kind of like learning toy. So she has her Fisher Price um, shape sorter. And she really hasn't played with this. She, she, I haven't really worked on it with her because she's been so sick. But she de definitely likes taking the circle and like blowing into it because it makes a weird noise. So at least she's having fun. And then she has this one. This is like an older version of a um, shape sorter. And it just has like a whole bunch of pieces in it. And just like a regular, just like this one, you have to like stick the shapes in here. And then they go through. And then she has her Fisher Price bag. And it just has like the cell phone, the keys, the mirror, and all of that. And it sings, and I'm not going to turn it on. And then she has like her little teapot. Um, and it comes with the two cups. And that and then she just has her picnic basket it was all 
the food and the blanket and all of that. And then this is kind of like just music stuff. Um, and so she has these um, maracas and they sing and they like teach her colors and numbers. So I still have these for her to play with. And then this is like her crab rattle. And then this thing I'm probably donating because she doesn't even look at it. And I'm not going to go through everything, but there's like a tambourine, maracas, like a little rattle. This is a drum, but it's also a, sh a shape sorter, which is cool. And she has like a little xylophone kind of ladybug thing, which she plays with like almost every day. And then she has her homemade like rattle thing with just pasta and it's a bottle, but she doesn't really play with it anymore because I take it away. Because as you see, she chews on the top. And then she has like some drumsticks and all that cool stuff. And then the lid goes on. And it's an actual drum. And then she has her duck, which she doesn't play with. She usually just chews on the string. So I might donate this back to where we got it. Just because it doesn't make sense to have stuff that she doesn't play with. And then this she loves. She will grab this ball and hand it to me, and all I have to do is this towards her, and she just freaks out, and she loves it. And I don't think anything is in here, no. And then she has the famous Little People School Bus with all the people. She has the bus driver, the boy, and the girl, and she thinks the way to play with these is to put them in her mouth and eat them. And yeah, my child's weird. She can't, she has broken the door. Um, as you can see, it's like kind of dented right here. And that's because she decided to rip the door off. Every time she has it, she rips the door off. And then she has this really cool... It's like, it's little people and they're magnetic. And it comes with um, two magnetic balls and like two just regular balls. And she brings this to me and, I, and she says... Like, she doesn't say open, but, like, you know that she wants it open. And then she just sits and plays with it for maybe 15 minutes, which isn't bad. And then she has her little princess castle where you put the ball. And it does that. And then you can also do that. And there was five balls. I don't know what happened to the purple one. It's probably, like, underneath the couch or something. But, oh, well... I just to keep them from going everywhere. I put them in there. And then these are like toys that she really doesn't need or use and are most likely going to be donated. Like, there's no use for them. Um, so this is obviously for like an infant car seat to um, like play music for them and make them distracted. And then this is also for like a car seat or a um, stroller, but it just, it gets in her face, and I don't know if, if I should even, like, think about giving this to anyone, um, but it's from VTech, and it was cool when, like, I looked at it in the box, but probably once I, like, figure it out more, maybe I'll keep it. If not, it's going to be donated, and then these are, like, car, um, height chair stuff, so this one just sticks, and it's a little thing and she doesn't use it she just rips it apart um because this piece comes off of the green one and she just rips it so i might as well just get rid of it and then this one i had it um on her first height chair that we had and it came off so i put it on her exit saucer which we no longer have but i kept it because i was like oh i can put it on her height chair forgetting that it doesn't her high chair is broken that's why we got a new one so i'm probably gonna just either toss it or donate it and then right here, it's just like a mixture of like Happy Meal toys and like little toys that we got here and there. So this is obviously a Happy Meal toy and it just turns, doesn't do much. She got this little Ice Age thing from Burger King and she has two Spongebob toys, another Ice Age toy. This little Hello Kitty thing that um, one of the people that come to work with her gave her for her birthday present. It was part of it. 
she also, the same person gave her this little ladybug, and when you twist the thing, it like walks on the floor. She has this ballerina thing, which I don't know where she got it from, but she has it. And she has this little Build-A-Bear, um, bear. She has this, like, bobblehead thing. And then she has, like, a little ball. And so, that is, like, all of her toys that, like, make music or whatever. Okay, hey guys, so this is just the last part of the toys. So these are just, like, rattles and little bears and baby dolls. And that goes to her play mat like I was talking about. And, yeah, so she has baby dolls and all that. So, yeah, I ended up, um, the limit on my camera is 20 minutes, and I went over that with this. So this is going to probably be a very long video, but I'm cutting um, the other part out. So if it seems kind of weird, that's why. But yeah, so that is all of Isabella's toys. And I am getting rid of most of these because it is just insane. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for such a long video. Um, I'll try to like cut it down somehow. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr and like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!